Okay, everybody, we are back at the Rat Rod Electric uh, Lawn and Garden Tractor. Um, I want to basically hop it up with this nice big beefy electric motor because uh, this did not come with an electric motor. I'm trying to figure out placement and the length of this motor here will basically exactly fit inside this battery box, although it's it's not particularly thick sheet metal here. Uh, but what I have is, uh, this is an adapter plate that I built for a previous project that, well, it goes right on the end of that motor. So I thought what I could do is actually use this as a template for where I would want the motor to go. Now it does st stick up a little bit too high, so what I could do is cut about an inch and three-eighths or so off the bottom of that. That way this will fit exactly in the box. I can trace out the hole for the drive shaft, uh, the holes for where the motor will mount to, drill those holes through the sheet metal, and then from the other side I can, I can drill holes through there through here and right into the motor. Uh, the back end of the motor can likewise uh, bolt on to here uh, with a couple of bolt holes because on the back of the motor there are some supports right there as well. Right down here for example. And then the trouble is that that shaft sticks out. In fact it's going to have to stick right out the side of the battery box so it would poke through right here. It would come out in the fender, um, but it'd be kind of protected by the wheel and under the fender. So what I'm thinking is basically under the fender have a chain from the motor up to a jack shaft. So what I would do is cut a hole right here, add a bearing, and put maybe like a three quarters inch shaft straight through with a sprocket on the end. The other end would come to the other side, also going through the body to a pulley because sort of straight down right about there is where the input pulley is on the transmission. So I could have a belt going essentially straight down. So what I would do is have the motor across here to a chain on the outside, to a sprocket, to a shaft, and then that pulley going straight down. And I think this would work pretty well. Uh, the one challenge I still have, well, actually, one reason why I want to do this is, for example, it leaves the stabber mount free in the back. So, for right now, I could build a wheelie bar that would pop right into the stabber mount. Uh, it would also allow me to use uh, other stock accessories that would regularly mount there. Uh, the other trouble I have, though, is this is a spline shaft on that electric motor. Uh, so it only matches this one splined piece. And what I have to do is somehow figure out how to machine this down so that I can put a pulley or a sprocket on it. So I'm probably going to, I don't know, maybe I have to fill that with, um, with weld and then turn it down on a lathe to be able to put a uh, sprocket on there. I'm not sure, I might have to go visit a machinist friend to figure out the best way of doing that. But anyways, I think I'm gonna stuff that electric motor in right here. Um, actually, the shaft probably could go out either side. I just kind of figured that um, since I would probably need a shaft to go all the way across, just to have support on both end, it seemed like maybe everything would be kind of crowded over here. Um, so maybe I'd put the input in over here and the output over there, something like that. Anyways, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Thank you. See you next time.